Hi, and welcome back to the series where I'm finally going to finish coding up the brewery website. So in this video, I'm finally finishing off the rest of the brewery website. So I'm going to be doing the part with the keg in it there that I hadn't finished it and the footer. And I'm also just cleaning things up and fixing up a few little loose ends that I had missed along the way. So let's just jump right into it. So let's might as well wrap this all up now. Let's go and tackle this one. Um, I'm going to go back to my typography for one section, section, one second, because I realized I made a bit of a mistake along the way. So, uh, layout components, abstract, not abstract space, typography, put the margin to zero on all of these, but then I never did my paragraph margin bottom. I'll just do one M for now. Um, so that's going to be better. And I need to bring my image into there. Whoops. Let's open up my index. And I completely forgot when I was doing this to bring my image in. So we can do that right now. Section brewery. So title, da, 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 da. Find out more. I'm just going to bring the image in right here. Image. Uh, images slash keg. I'm pretty sure. Some kegs. There we go. Good. Now this section is getting a completely different look than the other ones, right? Um, I'm pretty much going to give this one, two, and I need some space there. Just do I do three? One, two, three. One, two. I'm going to do two and I'm just going to give this boy some padding. So on my layouts and my layout I'll make a new file called brewery.scss and you can see I never even made um, layouts for that all that fell into the general stuff I think general yeah so here on my brewery one um, let's go back to my main let's import uh, brewery save that so what I want to do is say that my section brewery, which I'm just going to double check. That's what I called it. It is, did I spell it the same brewery? Okay. So my section brewery, what I want to do is grid is auto flow over repeat to one FR. I just want two columns for this, one column for the picture, one column for that, um, which already it's making it much better. The problem with images when you do something like this, um, actually, what I'm going to do is come in here and just do a uh, div class section, uh, section brewery text box, or just going to call it text box because it's a text box close and boom because now all of these don't fall on the grid anymore they just fall where they need to fall um, and super duper now there's a few things I do want to set up on this to make it work a little better um, but you can see it's sort of getting already the look that I want it to have so what I'm going to do should I do okay screw it section brewery uh, text box. Okay. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I can just dot text box padding. Uh, so my padding is going to be like 3M on all sides. And whoops, this should be and double underscore. There we go. Okay. Good. Hmm. Maybe this isn't going to work the way I wanted it to. Here. What if I get that to stop? You know what? I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, save. I'm going to keep my text box, though. Um, section brewery text box. This is going to get a class equals section brewery. Whoops. 
section brewery image. Um, and what we're going to do in here, because that other thing wasn't working the way I originally wanted it to, um, what we're going to do is my and image will have a grid column of 1 over 3. This padding and then my text box will have a grid column of 3 over 4. Let's turn this off. What's this giant space? And oh, 1 over... Let's go see what's happening. One, two, three. And three to four. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Oh, right, that makes sense. Maybe I do need to have a different grid on here. <laughs> Did I misspell it in both places for real? That's hilarious. Um, what if I just redefine the columns a little bit and add a little gap? Okay, we're going to change it up actually. Uh, I'm going to do grid is auto flow 1fr whoops, over 1fr how big do I want my text to be now? min max 300 pixels 650 pixels 1fr what if I did this one as 2 I'm going to do a min max on this. Uh, min max 300 pixels 2fr. We're also going to put a gap on this one because it looks weird if not. Uh, gap, uh, grid, gap, 1m, 2, uh, grid, this would be a column just in case. Probably could just be grid gap, but just to be safe. That just gives us our space there. This can still get bigger, smaller. And one thing I want to do is I want to make sure that my, um, like right now it's not doing it, but when this gets bigger, when my image is bigger, I want to keep this centered in that space. So on my text box, uh, I don't need my padding on there. I can do an whoops, align self center, I think. There we go. So it just stays centered in that space. Uh, so that'll work. Um, for my image, could I do... I want to keep my image... I've tried a few things here that I've deleted because it wasn't working. I want to make sure my image always stays on this side. And the only thing left that I can think of is if I do a margin left of auto. Oh, there we go. Okay, that worked. And it pushes it that way. Super. Um, so the good, 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 good. So I'm actually really happy with that. The biggest issue now that we have uh, is all this gigantic spacing. This spacing is driving me absolutely bananas. And part of the reason that that is there is on my general. You may remember I did padding 5m0. I think we just need to do a zero on this too. Um, Let's just go and check this out to see why. Oh, you see here it's because some of my text is long, maybe? No. I have something in this that's making it taller than it needs to be. That's okay. What I think I might do is just make it... Actually, you know what? That's a lot better. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Cool, good, good, good. So that's looking pretty nice. Um, all I have left to do is my footer and 
Uh, I realize it's not 100% responsive, and that's going to have to stay that way. If you want to be my guest, I'd love it if you were to turn this into a fully responsive um, design. And if you do, make sure to let me know about it and let me see it. Um, but I think it's more interesting the parts that I'm doing now and if I have other sites that I've done that are fully responsive. So you can go and check those out where we're using some media queries and uh, stuff like that. So for my footer, um, let's just go and bring that into my main here. Footer. And I can close my brewery now. That one's done. I can close my cards. I can close my typography, my buttons. Um, for my footer. So footer, uh, text align center. Um, I have the SVG here that we can't see, which is my logo. Um, I'm going to sort of cheat here with some SAS and just do uh, my logo. I want to change the fill. The problem is if I just did logo and did fill on here, of, I'll just do it red for now. Um, it doesn't actually fill anything because if we look at the logo, let's just go look fast. Um, on my logo itself so the svg there's no fill set on this the fill is on the things inside of there so you can see that this path has a fill on it, and all the individual paths have fills on them so um what i'm going to do is just logo star so everything inside my logo that's inside my footer uh gets that on it and actually i don't need to know did i give that a separate class logo oh i called it logo light uh i can do this exact same thing on logo light then instead of having it you know, this could just be logo light, and then this could be brought out from here and put down here, and then even that could be brought to my general. Um, except the color on it should be the color on it should be color brown light, I believe. Uh, did I leave this here? Save. There we go. Uh, perfect. And even that might make it. No, I'm going to leave it like that. That's fine. Because um, here I need my color to be color, 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 brown, light. And my footer paragraphs, which it's a little lazy doing this instead of giving them a class, but they both need to be uh, font family of uh, font family title. Their line heights can be one. Their margins can be zero. They're kind of spaced out a little more. Oh, there we go. That's getting more what I was after. Let's just go and take a look at what I was after. Something like that. What was my font size on that? 20? Well, uh, we'll stick with that, I think. Remember, I misspelled it there, yeah. I think we'll stick with that. Um, that's probably coming just straight off my SVG, so I'm not going to fiddle around too much. Oh, I have logo. Okay, I'm going to cheat a little here too then. Um, dot logo. Margin bottom zero. Point two M. Need some space on that. Cool, and my footer can have a margin, or I'll do padding, padding bottom of like 5M as well to give me that space so I can scroll all the way down. And there we have it. The site is done. So I hope that you liked it. I hope you learned something through watching this. And if you did, please let me know down in the comments below. Honestly, if you've made it this far through this series, thank you so much for watching all of these videos. Um, it's you guys watching these videos that helps support this channel and helps make this possible. Also, a huge thank you to my patrons who help support me financially. If you'd like to know more about that, go and check out my Patreon page. And as I've been seeing throughout the series, if some of the SaaS stuff that I've been doing interests you, there is a link down below that you can sign up to find out when I launch my SaaS course. One last time, thank you for watching. And don't forget until next time to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.